there folks, welcome you all to a little cheap vlog of mine on this Sunday evening. That took you by surprise. God, look at the God rays coming through. <laughs> the sun just came out again. Amazing. Um, so yeah, I, 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 this is a really short, sweet little vlog because I, listen, as I mentioned in my last vlog, my son started playing Dark Souls again on the Switch. And that led me, because he kept sending me text messages after text messages saying, oh, well, you know, what about this? What about that? I'm here, I'm there, I'm, you know. And it kind of really got me into the zone of Dark Souls again. And I started playing it again on the Xbox One X, on the remaster, and on a few days back. And I mentioned it in the, in the Friday vlog. And it just, it led me to a whole bunch of questions. And I just put a poll up earlier about an hour ago or so, about what is the best sword in the game. I, I wish I'd done it a little bit differently because I didn't put an other option in. You only get five options in the polls, and, and I kind of put five swords in. I should have put other because there's a few a few that don't make the uh, to make the mix. But I tried to pick the best ones out. But it leads me to a whole bunch of other questions about Dark Souls as to what your opinion is about it all in general. Like, what is... Not only what is the best sword, like what is, what? Okay, so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask a whole bunch of questions in this video, and let me know in the comments below what you believe is the best of all of this criteria. Now, some of it might cross over, so far as your weapons might match whatever you're wearing, and and you know, so far as a light build might match a light weapon or something. But in my playthroughs that I did I ended up with the claymore and a really light build anyway so it didn't really matter that I had a heavy weapon and stuff but anyway so it leads me to firstly what is the best weapon type do you think in Dark Souls like halberd spear sword great sword axe club what is the best weapon type do you think for that game Secondly, of that weapon type, what do you think is the best weapon of that weapon type? You know, I mean, for me, the, the Claymore is my go-to. And it, that is because of you guys. You guys, when, when I did the playthrough on the Xbox One, back compat, uh, no, yeah, on the back compat version, yeah, it was. It was on the back compat because the remaster wasn't out at that point. So, you know, you guys said to me, said, like, Steve, this is where you get the Claymore, go get it, because it's it's going to work. I mean, it wasn't, you didn't specifically say it was the best weapon in the game. You just said it would suit me down to the ground. And it was Jason, and it was uh, Robert, and all sorts of people were telling me that. And uh, King Rat, I think, was another one. Uh, everyone was saying, like, go and get the the Claymore, because it's going to suit you right down to the ground for what you're trying to, you know, for, for my play style, which is the, 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 the shit play style, <laughs> the Claymore was going to suit me down to the ground. And I'll tell you this, right, the reason the Claymore is an absolute gem is because it's the only two-handed sword that actually has a thrust attack on it. As far as I know, the only two thrust, that you can wield in one hand if you get your strength high enough, and... You, the heavy attack thrusts forward, it, it sticks itself forward like that, and the, all the others are all swinging, which is fine, but the minute you're in a tight corridor and stuff, it's all banging all over the place, it's a bloody nightmare, so that's why I love the Claymore so much. If the, that I, before I ever got the Claymore, I ended up with the Drake Sword, which was fantastic, but that was the same thing, it was banging from side to side all the time. Uh, that's a one-handed weapon, though, I think if I remember rightly. And the Drake Sword's the one you get from shooting the dragon in the tail about 150 times and it just drops into your inventory. <laughs> no cheating there, people, whatsoever. So for me, for me, it's the Claymore. It's always going to be the Claymore because it's got the thrust attack with its heavy attack and it's got the swing attack with its light attack. And if you can get down with that and you can get, you know, as my son said, he, he couldn't quite get into the Claymore because it was slower than the stuff that he was using, which was the Drake Sword, and then he's finally found a spear with lightning and stuff on it, which are all faster, which of course they will be because they're lighter weapons, but um, it, it's all a case of just getting used to the fact that it's a bit slower, and you have to time everything a little bit differently. You know, speed's got nothing to do with it because 
you know, with a, a weapon that's slower, it's always going to have more damage anyway. So you don't have to smack it as much times as you would with a with a light weapon. So, you know, for me, every time I end up going for the Claymore, because it just suits me down to the ground for everything I want to achieve. Um, I mean, I love the fact, like, that the, because the thrusting attack is it's always going to be a gem because if you've got three enemies lined up behind each other in a tight spot and you thrust that claymore through the first one, it's going to hit everything behind it as well. So it's a no brainer for me that it's, a, it's a classic weapon. So, so there you are. Anyway, moving swiftly on to the questions. So what is the best weapon type? What is the best of those types in your opinion? Um, what is the best weapon type? type uh, sorry uh, armor type is it the heavy the light the because you've got like the thief stuff which is right down at the like light light level haven't you uh well i think it i think it's qualified as sort of sorcerer stuff isn't it you've got sorcerer stuff then you've got the rogue leathery stuff which is the next level of light then you've got the medium armor, and then you've got the heavy armor, uh, which is all the knight type stuff. So, you know, which of those would you go for? Me personally, I always end up going for light so that I can, because Dark Souls is one of the few games that actually recognizes the fact that if you wear heavy armor and you try and roll out of the way, you're just gonna thud to the ground. <laughs> And you literally do. If you try and roll out of the way of something in heavy armor in Dark Souls, you just roll, you just thud to the ground and make a massive indentation in mud. <laughs> it's not great, people. So there is a, a massive, I mean, that game for me, I mean, you, you can play it, and I'm sure many of you do, as a beast of a warrior with loads of armor on, massive sword, and every and you play it based on the fact that you're going to hold your shield up the minute anything tries to hit you and and that is one way to play the game and i've never but i've never played it that way i always go for the light armor and a massive sword and i try and if i need to dodge i can just dodge and move and you know i need my playstyle needs the flexibility to be able to just get out of the way uh, i can't be doing with like thudding to the ground the minute that i'm in danger but I don't know, though, does the heavy armor actually shield you as much as a shield would if you put it up? I've no idea what the, 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 what the protection is that that armor gives you. I mean, is it, is it worth... I mean, if, if I was stood in front of a boss and it smacked me without putting my shield up and I was in heavy armor, would it, would it feel like there was a benefit to that or not? Because... In light armor, certainly, if I don't put my shield up, my health is like annihilated down to like, you know, a third of, of it being left. So, or a quarter, I mean, you know, low anyway. So it'd be interesting to know from you guys, if, if you guys have played as a heavy or, you know, whatever type of character, which armor is actually the best one? Because it, even if I go heavy armor, is it actually going to protect me the way a shield does? Is it worth it or am I better going light and just, you know, making sure I don't get hit? I mean, I think in the end with Dark Souls, not getting hit is the idea. Or it is very much the case of, you know, if your shield isn't up, then there's a massive, massive hit to your health. But you would hope that that, 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 that extra heavy armor would have some kind of protection let me know anyway let me know in the comments below if it's actually if you if you could play as a heavy character whether or not that actually gives you the kind of protection that a shield gives you without you know you, you don't have to worry so much about putting the shield up the other thing is which class is the best class to play in that game and i'll tell you here's the thing right i avoid mages all the time i think they're called sorcerers in 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 dark souls but Craigie Boy played as a sorcerer in those games and he really made it work to his advantage. I mean, he, he was, because every time I spoke to him, I was like, how are you not getting hammered from that enemy? He goes, I'm never near it. He goes, I don't go near that enemy. He goes, 
I'm amazed. So I just, you know, I'm a sorcerer. I just, I just throw my magic sight from distance and, and eventually kill it. And he wasn't struggling at all. Yeah, I was like, every time I played that game, I'm always up close and personal with him because I'm using a sword. So it begs the question as to, is Mage actually the best way to play that game? There are a couple of enemies, I think, that you struggled with because they you needed to be up close. I can't remember why. I can't remember why that was the case. But there was a couple of enemies you needed to get up close with. And he really struggled with them because he was completely sorcerer-based. But, you know... Outside of those, I mean, he's he's now he's now completed thanks to me saying you need to play Dark Souls. He's completed all three of them and Bloodborne. So you know, he's he's done really. He's done more than I have, people. More than I have. So there you are. Let me know, and I will. I think what I'll do is, much as though I want you to tell me in the comments below, I will put polls up just to get the the figures in. But let me know because I love speaking to you people. Let me know in the comments below. You know what weapon type what weapon what you know well you know what i mean what weapon variety what weapon type what armor variety what armor type what class blah 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 let me know in the comments below what you believe the best build is for dark souls we're talking about the first dark souls game people don't worry about the others we're talking about the very first one it's it's <laughs> It's exactly the same game that's in the remaster. So we're talking about, you know, whichever version, the remaster or the original. I don't know that much changed, that anything would have changed with the, the answer you would give me on that front. But yeah. But let me know in the comments below, people. Let me know. Type. Type. I'm really interested, actually. I really want to know because there was a lot of opinions. When you're doing a Let's Play, and I did live streams as well, I... I there's always a lot of opinion flying at you from, from, especially from people that are confident about the game and they know that they've beaten it this way, that way, or the next way. So let me know in the comments below and in the polls that I'll throw up after the one I've already put up what your opinion is. And I might, I'll talk about it in the next vlog uh, next Friday or what have you. There you are. That's all I wanted to say. Well, actually, you know. It's Sunday, but I'm off tomorrow. Flagons up to you all. <laughs> we didn't say it at the beginning, did we? You know, I buy you one, people. It has, as always, been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in this vlog of mine, and I shall see you all next time. Take it easy, folks. Bye.